What's going on everybody, it's the Assassin again. Uh, today we're gonna be changing out the sprocket on Stitch here for something a little, a little bigger. Let me just show you. Got my fucking dinner plate of a sprocket here provided by the Sick Shop. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, you can see it has the, uh, the blue flames and skull on it. And this is a uh, 55 tooth. Damn, I didn't think a 55 tooth was gonna be this big, honestly. When I see it in pictures, it doesn't look that big. Yeah, I guess compared to the wheel, it's not that big, but like just holding it, like you can see it's, it's a good size. So yeah, got this from the Six Shop. Also got a black chain and I'm just gonna be running the stock. Uh, front sprocket which is a 16 so this will be a 16 by 55 bike now and uh yeah i guess we're just gonna install this see how it goes um hopefully i don't drag out this video too too much so uh, i'll try to make everything really quick as much as i can but yeah let's uh get into it okay so from what i could tell what i'm gonna need to do is oh also i'm using uh Motion Pro's PBR chain breaker, right? Yeah, PBR chain breaker. That's what I'm using, it's about a hundred bucks. So, uh, it's, uh, it's quite the price, my guy. So, uh, yeah. So we got that knock loose. That's a big bolt. Is that the same size as the actual bolt? Oh my God, it's even bigger. I'm gonna hope it's a 30. Oh yes, let's go. And the way I'm gonna have to do this is stand on the rear brake while the bike is in gear. Let's see if I can crack this hoe. Okay, that sucker is torqued on there hella tight. So what you saw what I was trying to do is I was staying on the bike from over there and trying to loosen it like this. I was sitting on the back brake here and then try to pull it like this. But what I had to do, what I think gave me better leverage was sitting actually on the bike and like pulling it up like this. Finally cracked it free, so. Now, now it's through. Cool. This is the old sprocket, the front sprocket. Sit down like that. Put that there and grab the new one. Here's the front one. You can see it's backwards. I know I have to use my front camera, but 16 teeth. So. I like the, I think it's kind of cool having the numbers outwards, so. This tire is wide enough that I can lay it down. Like if I face it right towards you, you can't even see the disc brake. The brake disc, the brake disc, disc brake. The uh, brake disc. So uh, if you're working on a smaller tire, uh, I would say put some two by fours on each side of the tire so you don't fuck your shit up. I should be okay to just lay it down. These bolts are torqued on to hell and back. I don't know what the torque specification is. I'll have to look it up. I'll either tell you or I'll put it here somewhere. But um, these bolts are 14 millimeters. So, pop this bad boy off. Oh shit, there's washers on that. That's good to know. Oh, let's go. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's fucking sick. This is also the 43 compared to that. So yeah, you can tell it's a, it's a 12, 12, yeah. 12 tooth jump, pretty big. Okay, I was seeing a bunch of different shit on um, what these torque specs should be, so um, 
I even had a buddy tell me, say, fuck a Torx bag, just snug them down. So that's what I'm gonna do. Forgot I had to put this little like guard piece back on. Set it to the side and I started. So when I started tightening everything down, it messed my uh, vinyl up a little bit. So I was like, oh shit, right, let's go put this little guard on so it doesn't do that. People at the six shop said this would be too long. So, as you can see right here, hopefully you can't see it, if not, I'll zoom in on the photo, on the uh, editing. I am, I guess a whole two links, I guess. I mean, the master link would technically be right here, but it needs to over, over uh, lap like this. So I need to cut this link out and good thing we have a tool to do so that's what we need to do okay i got the chain and sprocket on oh it was a little bit of pain now this one is a clip style uh you might be able to see it right here at the edge of the screen edge of the screen Ugh, it's a clip style um a lot of people say they work a lot of people say they don't work um if i die then i'll just change it then so we're gonna stick with it for now because it's what it's came it's what it came with but it does look pretty fucking sick okay i saw 69 <laughs> foot pounds of torque now for uh for that front sprocket bolt oh that hurt yep yep perfect all right that is torqued down now where's my flathead hello Hit this washer back down. Click, click. Click, click. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, is that it? Well, I think that's it. There. Yeah. Cool. All right. That is a chain and sprocket. 55 tooth on stitch here. And uh, I'll put it back in the neutral so I can rotate this like that. Yeah, that looks fucking sick, bro. All right. That'll do it. Appreciate y'all sticking around for the whole video, if you did. Uh, if you made it to the end, a sub would be greatly appreciated. Um, if, you, uh, if you're if you new here, this is what we're all about, building stunt bikes, even though this is my first stunt bike. But uh, doing bike builds, bike reviews, pretty much anything on two wheels, that's what we're about here. So uh, yeah, I think that'll do it. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever it is. Sassin' out.